<laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Jason with Haggard Wilderness, Carter, Jerry, Ashley, Zip. and I'm driving in four wheel drive on the highway. And we're basically in the middle of the road. There's huge drifts on the highway, and yeah, this is the country. But we're headed to the beautiful Uena Mountains for a spur of the moment your trip. There was a cancellation on a weekend and we just couldn't help ourselves. So we scooped up the yurt and yeah, took full advantage of it. So anyway, I'm gonna keep driving cause this is getting crazy and uh, we'll catch up when we get up there. See ya. There's Jerry. Whoa. There's my grandma. If you can't, if you actually can't see her, you'll, you'll see her when we get <laughs> this is nuts. to the yurt. So. I mean, this is nuts. Okay, guys, this is a this is a state highway right here. It's like a, you know, a highway. Utah. <laughs> In Utah. And yeah, so we're just kind of hoping that nobody comes the other way. If they do, we gotta go over to the right there where we got a couple of feet of snow. <laughs> okay guys, that was super crazy intense, but we are here now. Good amount of snow. And so yeah, we're gonna load, unload and start hitting it. Let's get this business. Go on, Jerry, good girl. Mommy will get you out. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right, guys. The snowmobile is getting buried. The snow is super deep. I don't know where we are. That's the road, I think. So maybe that's why this is so deep, because I should have did that. I'll go look. If I feel comfortable, I'll flip around. Anyway, guys, I just buried the snowmobile, so I'm going to try to drop my poor mom off and the sled and go find a way out of here and then come back and get her. my track if you can holy smokes guys this is crazy the snow is deep we're the only people that have been up here I found the road so that's why we were seeking down here because I wasn't even on the road so I found the road I didn't go all the way up to the yurt but I went most of the way and I'm gonna try to put mom back on the snowmobile and the sled and see if I can't get them both up to the yurt. Let's try it. Okay guys, we got a, uh, a UTV with uh, tracks on it that passed us. They're probably going to one of the yurts. So I'm gonna let them go ahead of us for a second because they're actually going slower than I have to go on this thing. That thing's just geared to creep and this thing's gotta go, so. 
I'm gonna let the snowmobile cool off for five minutes, give them a chance to pave some more of the trail for us. And yeah, we'll go from there. Hi guys, welcome to Well, Well, Welder Wilderness. Haggard Wilderness. What? Haggard. Haggard Wilderness. Welcome to Haggard Wilderness. What do you want today? What are we doing today? We're waiting for for us to do go, um to go to the yurt. Mm-hmm. Here we go. We're gonna see how it goes. All right, buddy. Stoked, guys! We made it. The snowmobile, the snowmobile, the snowmobile, did really good. Um, even though I ran into some troubles. First of all, I'm not very good at riding a snowmobile yet. I just don't, you know, really know what I'm doing. So first thing, I had too much weight with the sled full of stuff. Me and my mom on the snowmobile, and I went off road and buried myself in the snow. So I had to drop her off, go find the road, turn around, come back, pick her up, and then I ended up dropping her off at a little picnic table, bringing the stuff up here, then bringing her up here. Luckily, I was able to, on the second trip, I was able to put Carter on the front of the snowmobile, Ashley and Jury in the sled, and there really wasn't much um, gear left to bring. As you can see, it's snowing, blizzarding again. So I'm going to get this sled tipped over, and I'm going to get the snowmobile covered up. And um, we got a fire going, and yeah, just start the adventure. So here we go. Still snowing a little bit. Snowmobiles covered. Sleds flipped upside down. I went and drug the two shovels out from way over there because whoever was here last left them like uh, laying down in the snow for some reason. I'm sure they just forgot, so whatever. But the family's inside eating some snacks. We'll cook dinner here in about an hour. Look how freaking cool the yurt is though. All right guys, we're gonna grill up some dogs and some brats. So I'm using the broom here to clean off the grill. So if I open the door here, yep, I got the gas shut off and it is shut off, which is good. So I'll turn that on, and we'll see if we can get this going. Oh yeah, she's getting warm in there. Nice. Gotta find the grill scraper. All right, guys. I think these are cooked. Nice and charred, nice and smoky. So. I'm gonna kill the grill, kill the gas. Oh yeah, that's a good sizzle. All right guys, it's a very cold night tonight. I'm sure it's probably the eight degrees that it said it was gonna be on the weather report. 
But we are happy. Our bellies are full. And, uh, yeah, we're chilling at the yurt. So I appreciate you joining us. We will see you tomorrow. Cheers. Cheers. morning guys it's uh six o'clock oh geez it's seven o'clock and uh the light's starting to come out very very good night of sleep we got the yurt warm we drank some coffee gonna have some breakfast and looking forward to a fun day today so i will uh keep you guys posted but yeah yurt trip very fun very fun All right, guys, cooking up some breakfast. Um, I went for a little snowmobile ride, but they were actually grooming the, the the road down there. And I know they do that for snowmobiles, and this is snowmobile access, but it kind of felt bad driving on the groom because I just know how much nicer it is to uh, ski on corduroy. So... I kind of turned around and came back. It was breakfast time anyway, but we are going to go for a ride. Me and Carter will go for a little spin, and then uh, we're bringing my mom and Carter back to the Jeep. They're going to take off today, so it will be me and Ashley tonight, and potentially my brother will be coming up. He might be skinning up any time now. We're not really sure. You know, whatever. If he doesn't show up, he doesn't, but anyway, yeah, just letting you guys know, cooking some breakfast, having a really good time. Um, it's partly cloudy, no snow, and it's pretty warm. It's below freezing still, but I'd say 25 degrees. So that's a nice day for us up here. So anyway. Be careful coming down. Remember, hold your hands really tight. I could do it with one hand. Well, don't do it with one hand. Here, I'll carry that. And then you see where the axe is? Just put it by over there by that, okay? Don't touch the axe. Is it okay if I put it like Set it up there. Very good, dude. Nice job, buddy. Okay, you ready? No, not yet. I just need this big one. There. Oh! Whoa! First try! First try even when it was back.
Sounds right. All right, and then, you know, we've got to turn this one like this. And then you got a snowboard. Kind of. I should really take the skins off. See that? Look how it transformers. Yeah, see? Now it's a snowboard. And then you put this on, because I'm going to leave it in ski mode. You put these on like that, and then you shred. <laughs> We found a woodpecker. If you fall in the snow, it might be really deep and it might freak you out because it's going to be really deep. We'll come get you, all right? So don't freak out. Okay, are you ready? Uh-huh. You got this, baby. Woo! You recording? Recording. All right, here we go. Keep your knees bent and your arms out. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah! Help her. There she goes. Mom, you got this! Yeah! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Jury, stay. Having a really good time playing in the snow, so much fun. So, thank you for joining me. Um, yeah, stick with me. Here comes Chongo right now to come get Carter, and then we'll have our own little rendezvous me, Chongo, Ashley. Look at them marks, boy. What about some uh, bacon grease? Bacon on grease on there. Woo! Good morning, everyone. Beautiful sunny day today. And we're just getting packed up. I didn't film very much yesterday, and I know that this is probably gonna be a very short video, but that's okay. Um, Chongo just skinned out on his split board, and we had him take Jury with him. Jury would much rather enjoy a nice walk in the woods than sitting in the sled of the snowmobile. Which she did okay in, but it makes her nervous. She, I don't think she likes it that much, so. Anyway, had a really good time, really good trip. Good family, quality family time. But we're heading out here shortly, and we're just getting packed up, and yeah. Really awesome year trip. We'll be back to this year in February. So, bring you along then, too. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Frost. Oh, there's way. That's cool. I like like the recycled beams, like you know the. the... Nice clean yurt. And really, I've watched people that built them, and it doesn't take as many lever. Are you are you recording? Yeah, are you recording this whole spiel, I man? Guess.